I've really been drawn into the winter sky at, at dawn and uh, these cloud formations we have. Everything's kind of golden cloud color and, and a little bit of um, kind of a pinkish lavender color to the sky. And it's a very pale, pale sunlight. And, and then these clouds move through and it's a very ethereal looking uh, sky. So I want to concentrate on doing that and maybe have some of our Litchfield Hills kind of coming up lower down in the horizon. And it is the waning moon. The, wa the moon is uh, starting to get small, going to new moon, and it curves in a, in a certain direction. And so I want to put that in. And uh, so let's see how we do. I'm going to start with um, a light blue violet acrylic mixed in with white to get this very pale kind of a, a blue background color going. So that's what I'm going to start with. Okay, to pull this painting together, I found I really needed to add uh, two more ravens for balance. So I had to get really in there and work in a detailed way with a small brush. And um, so I did that and I added a little bit of lavender in through here behind that one raven's head. I mixed lavender with Naples yellow and put that in in like a glaze with a baby wipe very thin so it's that combination that's going through the sky kind of bring it all together i emphasize this kind of river flowing here i added symbols coming kind of where the ravens are 
in lavender and in a blue violet coming leading our eye up towards the moon and I wasn't pleased with a lot of the things happening in the hills so I worked into it with just kind of a white and I mixed together Naples yellow with Prussian blue to get this green tone. When you use the same colors you've used in the sky and on the hills um, to get your own kind of a green, it all seems to work together a little bit better. It's more cohesive. And uh, that seemed to work for me. So that's how I finished this up. It's called Golden Dawn. So thanks a lot for watching.